Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This video is a bit exciting because it's a bit of an announcement. I'm pregnant! Alhamdulillah. What the heck? Celebration, Maybe it? you should explain to people what that, what that is because I had no idea what that was until I met you. It's a celebratory noise that Arab women do at weddings and events and parties. Yeah. Like that. Anyway, I'm pregnant with baby number two. So some of you guys have already kind of guessed and noticed. Um, I've had a few comments here and there because I've been really out of breath in some videos. Because I've had a bit of weight loss because I've had decent skin. I am one of those people that when I get pregnant, I get really good skin. And as soon as I give birth, not as soon as, but a few months after I give birth, all the acne comes back basically. So I'm just enjoying it while I can. Which brings me on to the next question that you probably have, which is how far along am I? I am exactly the same number of weeks that I was when I announced my pregnancy with Hannah which is 24 weeks. And I think that is approximately six months, maybe five and a half, I'm not sure. But in my head, I say it's about six months. And there is a bump and it is humongous. And I've just hidden it really well in clothes and pictures. But actually, when I actually go out in real life, it's quite hard to hide it. It was planned, by the way. A few Q and A's back, I, were, I was saying that I really wanted another child, but Sid wasn't ready. Well, he kind of didn't have a choice in that matter, so. We do know the gender, but we're not gonna announce it on the internet because, I don't know, people get funny about gender, don't they? So we'll just keep that as a surprise, I suppose. Sid has some questions he wants to ask me, basically. In usual Sid Piers Morgan <laughs> voice. But before he does, I really want to just touch on the difference between my first pregnancy and my second pregnancy so far. I think it's something that all mums who are pregnant with their second child will have in common. The fact that you really can't enjoy this pregnancy as much as your first. For example, with my first pregnancy, I downloaded all of those apps. The ones where you know what size your child is. You know, oh, one week is the size of a, a bloody orange, the next week is the size of a bloody boomerang. Things like that, you know? You know what I mean? I don't even have those apps on my phone this time around because there's no time because you're too busy chasing after your toddler or however old your first child is by now. Johanna's two years and five months. So she's basically two and a half years old. And by the time this baby comes, she will be still two and a half years old, but closer to the three, obviously. She knows that she has a sibling on the way and she's quite happy about it. She's actually really funny about it. She like pulls up my jumper and she's like, I want to see. She says, I want to see it. She goes, I want to see it. And I'm like, no, you can't yet because it's not ready. And I'm like, it's still growing. And she's like, okay, fine. Keep it safe, mama. She literally whispers, she goes, keep it safe. I'm like, okay, you strange child. Well, everything's been like quite healthy and normal so far, alhamdulillah. Exactly how my first pregnancy went, which I'm very thankful for because my first pregnancy was amazing. And I don't know what it is about me because I don't really do exercise on a regular occurrence. Sometimes I have like bursts during the year where I'll exercise. But something happens to me when I get pregnant and I start working out. I don't know why. In the first trimester, I get really, really, really sick that I lose a lot of weight, which explains my weight loss. A lot of people are like, oh, Dina, what's the diet? How'd you lose weight? I didn't do anything. I just got pregnant, okay? And I lost, I lose a lot of weight. Not even that much, but I lose weight that you guys can notice anyway, and I notice and I love. And the thing is, I get my morning sickness for about four months, going on to five months, and then it eases off. And then by that time, the bump has started to show. And then by that time, my appetite comes back and then all of a sudden I feel better and I start thinking, oh, hold on, I don't want to put on all that weight and start eating like a pig. So I just start introducing pregnancy workouts that I find on YouTube. They're really laid back, easy 10 minute workouts. And maybe I do like three a week. And I just do that just to maintain that weight loss during the pregnancy because I know that after I give birth and I start breastfeeding, my appetite just goes, woo! And if you guys look at my videos from maybe like a year ago, when I would have just finished breastfeeding. My cheeks were out here. I was so much chubbier than I am now. I didn't even realize. And that is because of the pregnancy kind of weight and the appetite that I had. I like to try and keep it healthy and energetic during the pregnancy because I know afterwards shit just starts going downhill basically. Yeah, I'm really excited, alhamdulillah. I'm also really nervous and scared because all of a sudden I'm gonna have to juggle two babies. Uh, I still consider Hannah as a baby even though she's a toddler and she speaks. She's not potty trained yet though. Oh my God. So I've got about, I've got about three and a half months 
to potty train my toddler because there's no chance I am cleaning two nappies, two arses. There's three things that we want to do with Hannah actually and it said we want to potty train her, we want to get her to sleep by herself so we can say goodnight and walk out and we want to stop giving her the damn bottle at night. Three things I need to achieve with my toddler before I give birth, inshallah. Anyway, that's all I want to say. I hope you guys are happy for me, obviously. And one thing I really want to say is, if you are a mom or if you're just a woman and you really, really want to get pregnant and you and you just want kids, then I really hope you, you are granted that soon, inshallah. And Sid's got questions now. Well, go on, Sid. So how did you feel when you found out you were pregnant? When I found out I was pregnant, I think I'd taken about four tests already. Do you remember? So basically, a month before I was actually pregnant, I took a pregnancy test, which was the clear blue digital one, which is 99.9% .9 accurate, yeah? And that one said I was positive, I was pregnant. That was back in September 2017, so I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant, yay! I booked a doctor's appointment, blah blah blah. Before the doctor's appointment, I started bleeding, and I was like, oh shit, great. Better hurry up with the doctor's appointment. Went to the doctor. I thought, obviously, I was having like a really early miscarriage. And doctor just tells me, it's your period, love, you ain't pregnant, and I was like, okay. 99.9 .9, my ass. But I took a clear blue, bro. I even showed her a picture of it because I was getting the vibe that she was like, you're wasting my time, honey. I was like, literally, the clear blue one says, look, it even gave me one to two weeks pregnant, bro. So I don't know if it was period or really early miscarriage. I don't know. But in the end, I wasn't pregnant. So then obviously after that, I was really disappointed, actually. So then I was just like, well, well let's just get, keep trying then. I just kept taking loads of pregnancy tests until I saw what I wanted, basically. And it just took about another month after that, and I found out I was pregnant in mid-October, I think, or towards the end of October, third week of October or something like that. And I was really happy. Sid, on the other hand, I think Sid's reaction was like, oh, God. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what was it? Put on a happy face, but Dina can tell when my happy face is not a he happy He put on face. a happy face, but I know Sid, and he wasn't, let's just say he wasn't exactly ecstatic. Which actually made me feel really sad. Because I was like, I'm really happy here. And the dad is like really not that happy. He's more worried than anything else. And I'm just like, who am I supposed to share this joy with? Don't worry, I'm happy. It's fine. Well, yeah, now. Well, you better be happy. <laughs> the thing is, when we found out, remember, we were still living in London. That was actually one of the reasons that made us move to Cardiff as well. It kind of pushed the reason to move to Cardiff. Uh, not just saving money, but just like easier lifestyle. Because you're such a good dad. It'd be a shame if you weren't happy. But can I just say, guys, you know... When I had Hannah and then after I had Hannah, I had really horrible postnatal depression. I really hope I don't get that this time, inshallah. But it also made me think about when Sid was upset. It made me think about dad's postnatal depression. Because it's true though, because although they don't give birth and they don't have the whole, all the mad stuff that us mothers do, which is incomparable, they can get depressed. Postnatal, they can get it. And I think actually they should be asked sometimes, how are you feeling after there's a newborn? Obviously we should be asked more because we're the mums. Dina, you know, it's fine. No, but no, I'm just <laughs> saying in general, in general, if you've noticed a change of behavior with your husband and stuff after you've given birth or during pregnancy, I don't know, ever. Maybe it's that. Maybe they, 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 they need reassurance too because, I don't know, maybe Sid can talk about that in another video. All right. Do you love your baby while it's in your belly this time around? It's a really good question because the first time around when Hannah was in my be in my belly, you know when you get loads of pregnant women, they're like, oh, we love you. I didn't feel that. <laughs> I was like, I hadn't created that bond. I hadn't had that maternal feeling yet until after I gave birth, until I started breastfeeding, actually. This time around, yeah, this time around I have it because I know what's to come. And this time around you can feel the movement way earlier than with the first pregnancy because you know what to look out for. Like it was kicking and stuff way earlier. Like I noticed it way more than with Hannah. When you feel the baby kick and stuff, the first time around I was like, ooh, ooh that's interesting. But this time around when I feel the baby kick and stuff, I'm like, oh, private private moment we're having there. It's really nice, alhamdulillah. So the first time round, I had a super quick labor. Like, I mean, it wasn't easy for me at the time, but everybody, the, all the midwives tell me, by the way, that's considered an easy labor and delivery, honey. So be grateful. <laughs> I was like, okay. I think it happened in about three hours, maybe four hours, very, very quick. I mean, I had an episiotomy, which was a bit gross. Getting stitched up was a bit nasty. But I mean, if it was to all happen the exact same way, I wouldn't mind. I would actually hope for the exact same delivery with this one. That'd be great. So I gave birth to Hannah in Walsall. Walsall Manor Hospital, by the way. 
and they were lovely there and it was new and it was lovely. So last time I gave birth in hospital, this time I'm gonna give birth in the midwife led unit, which means there's no like epidural if I want one. There's no doctors basically, it's just all the midwives, but it's a midwife led unit in a hospital. So if anything was to go really horribly wrong, they just have to take me downstairs, which isn't too bad. Or they take me across the road or something, I don't know. But I really wouldn't mind if it's exactly the same delivery as what I had with Hannah, because actually, like when I think of it, it was actually really good. I, I was just on gas and air. I was so scared of feeling the ring of fire burn that everyone talks about, which is when the head comes through. But I never felt that last time because they gave me an episiotomy, which meant that they numbed before they cut it. So that means when I pushed her out, Really, I didn't feel that burn because the area was numb. And I was saying to the midwife the other day, why can't you guys use that as a painkiller anyway? The bit, like, why can't you numb that area so that we don't feel the ring of fire? They were like, she literally looked at me, she was like, that's a good point, you know? But then she said what everyone else says, which is like, you would have done all of the pain and the hard bit, and that is gonna feel like nothing to you anyway. And I, then I was just thinking, well, no, because the gas and air was really helping me through those contractions and I felt like I could do that again, like I could get through it again. But I still have the worry of the unknown. But it's fine, I mean, they're probably right. If I'm high on gas and air and stuff, I'm not even gonna notice, so yeah. Are you looking forward to taking care of two babies? I am not really looking forward to taking care of two kids. What I am looking forward to though is seeing Hannah with a sibling and seeing that relationship grow, hopefully. Because really that's why you have a second child, isn't it? To give the first one a sibling. I also have, like as a woman, I have that, have that instinct of just like, I want a newborn. So I'm looking forward to having my little munchkin baby with me every day, trying to figure out YouTube routine and work schedule routine with this newborn. I am actually looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to buying new baby clothes and new baby things. Yes, shopping hauls. Now, when I was pregnant with Hannah, okay, I basically decided I was gonna do lots of like pregnant woman content on my YouTube channel. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that this time round because I don't know if you want to see that again. Do you want pregnancy updates? Do you want, do you want pregnancy related videos or not? And if you do want them, let me know exactly what you'd like to see in the comments. If there isn't anything kind of like um, substantial that I can put together for my main channel, then you will just naturally see a lot of pregnancy related stuff over on my vlog channel which is Dina Tokyo Vlogs. Am I gonna have any more kids? After I had Hannah, I was like, well, I'm definitely not having any more. Then all of a sudden I just wanted this other one. So now, right now I'm like two, done, finished. But you really never know, Sid. You really never know.